All right, here it is. As you guys may have seen in the in the short story I made, I made a joke about uh, you know changing the drill, or whatever. It was mostly a joke. Uh, <laughs> But yeah, it is time to upgrade some things. I'm going to be receiving a few more of these actually, and uh, a drill uh, as well. Uh, I think I'm gonna have a total of three impacts. Uh, but I just wanted to say, you know, guys, um, there's a lot of hate out there. Some people, they just spew hate for no apparent reason. Uh, I don't understand um, why people are like that. Like I've seen on, on YouTube, I've seen like a guy shared a video of something like this and some random person's like, uh, yeah, but do you even know how to use tools or, or something like that? I'm like, so, I just read it before I made this video, so toxic. And I'm like, come on guys, it's just, it's just a video, relax. Um, like this video that I made of this, this is a nice, nice uh, little uh, pouch with very, very uh, affordable tools and things that you might need when you have any DIY job around the house or if you're helping anybody, this is very, very nice to have, you know, instead of having a big and uh, expensive bag with a lot of things, which is good for certain jobs, but I wouldn't take my more, more expensive tools to do some repair at somebody's house and, you know, might lose tools and stuff like that, I will never do that. Okay, so this is the DeWalt uh, DFC 809 D1. This is part of the Atomic uh, Compact series. It is pretty compact. If you've never held one of these, it is very, 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 very small. Uh, as you guys can see, it's, it's just about eight inches, nine almost. All right, so like five inches. So it's like it's very, very small. I have pretty big hands, and if you guys can see, it just rests in my hands very, very easily. Um, this thing packs a punch, guys. I mean, this thing really is strong, so you gotta be careful, but what I really do love about it, uh, it's two things, or three things, sorry. Uh, the first thing is that it's uh, very sensitive, so the motor gradually uh, spins as you press harder it goes faster as you press harder it goes faster so it has a proportional rate and i love that because you can screw in the most sensitive little things to the most uh, hardcore things to get the, the screw in or drill or bit whatever it is you're doing uh, the second thing i love is how small and compact and light it is so you will get in uh, areas that you need to do uh, your drilling or your uh, screwing or whatever it is that you have to do very very compact all right that is insane and the third thing uh, that I like about this well guys the third thing that I like about this is it does look kind of heavy-duty I'm not gonna lie, I already dropped this. <laughs> I dropped this and uh, I was like, that! Uh, but there isn't a single scratch or no crack or anything on it. So, well, of course, you know, you're not gonna drop it all the time. It can happen, but I dropped it and not even a single scratch. And I was very impressed with that. I was like, whoa, okay, that's cool. All right, so I put the little, bo um, the little belt clip on it because, you know, hey, sometimes you're working with your hands, you, you, you know, you're doing something or you're cleaning up the hole or you're putting the, the wall plug and you're getting ready. Hey, it's good to have it here in your hand, in your belt, your, your pants, take it off and put it back, put it back in. I think it's amazing. I love it. Some people hate it. I don't. I think it's a, it's a very good, uh, it's a very good thing to have actually. So why not use it? Um, so basically that is it, you know, it's, it's very compact, it's nice, it's light, it looks like it can take a beating. It comes with a little uh, little charger here, okay, I think uh, I charged it just once, it took about an hour or something to, to go to full charge, um, and it only had like one, uh, one light, 
in the middle of three. So I'm not, yeah, I'm not sure. Maybe one hour, one and a half hour, maybe a little bit less. Uh, but very, 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 uh, very, very nice. Very nice. I'm very happy with this purchase. It was long overdue. Uh, I and somebody mentioned in the shorts uh, that I made the video shorts funny video I made about this uh, somebody mentioned like yeah it's crap or I should have gone with Makita or I should have won or went with Milwaukee uh, I like Milwaukee I even have Hilti products which is red but I hate red color I don't like red color at all I don't like it I don't like it for my tools I don't, I, I don't know I don't like uh, uh, red I don't know why so, M M uh, Milwaukee is literally, I don't like the color, even though I know Milwaukee is nice and it can take a, a beating as well and it, it's very durable and, uh, and all these things, I just don't like it. Makita, I've worked in, uh, in Europe for about seven years, I've done this industrial gas work line and all my tools were Makita. I had Makita and I've added, I had Hilti. And I don't know, it's good and everything, but guys, this is this is for my home. This is for my DIY projects at home, around the house, maybe helping out a friend on, the, on, on whatever, you know. So this is not gonna get beat up like industrial beat up and, and, and you know, stuff like that. So for my house, for my bench, this is more and more than enough. All right, guys, so that is it. Uh, really, really happy with the DFC. It's 809D and uh, yeah, stay tuned for, I have more coming uh, and uh, as well as changing the bench a little bit and applying the pegboard here. So that's gonna be a video on itself as well and uh, that is it. So take care guys and peace out.